Hey guys, Benjamin Tannehill here. Yes, this is Ben Tannehill. Not Ben T. Looney, not Neb, not Looney T. Ben, not Billy the Stoner. This is me, a living person, here to talk to you people like a mature adult. Anyway, it's been a few days, and my Pixar rant has brought up a lot of controversy. As I anticipated. Well, I read the comments of the people who didn't like the video, and I think they deserve to be addressed. No, not in a negative way, just in a way to throw some water on the fire and get some things straight. For starters, I do apologize for those mistakes I made in that video. I should have double checked on them before I wrote them into the script. That was stupid of me, but there's no use in dwelling on the past. All I can do is learn from my mistakes and make myself better for the future. Anyway, the negative reception among my Pixar rant came from the fact that I presented my opinions in a harsh way, even going as far as saying that I hate Pixar, and that my reasons for my opinions were bad and biased. Well, I don't agree 100%, but I see where they are coming from. If I was a fan of Pixar, I would be upset about the video as well. However, Ben T. Looney is a character. Even though he shares his opinions in a very harsh way, that's kind of the point. He's exaggerated for comedic effect because people on the internet are drawn to negativity. It's sad but true. All we do is share opinions. Does this mean I still like Pixar? Well, yeah. However, since I'm not Ben T. Looney, I can say that I respect Pixar. I agree that they make great movies with great animation that never has any mistakes, great storytelling that never loses focus on what it's trying to tell, and great humor, as well as memorable characters. However, their movies just aren't for me. I still like how most of them borrow heavily from movies I've seen before. Since I'm a big movie fan, I expect movies that I watch to be different. I don't like watching the same movie twice. I still don't like how in the case of Monsters Inc. and Cars, the characters aren't interesting because the monsters and cars live like humans. Since I am a human, it's not really interesting to see monsters and cars live like us. I don't like how they're abusing sequels, though I'll admit, they're not the only animation studio these days that's doing that. Finally, I just think Pixar movies are too kid-friendly. I think they never take enough risks, and most of their films are basic and the morals are simple. I'm not saying adults can't like them as much as kids, but I've been spoiled by other animation studios that aren't afraid to take risks. So Pixar still isn't for me, but it's not like I want them to vanish off the face of the earth. That would be wrong. As a lover of animation, every animation studio has a right to exist. Just because I don't like them doesn't mean I want them to go out of business, it's just that I don't like their work. That's all. Then we move on to my reasons for hating Pixar movies. I'll admit, with some of them, I was pulling them out of nowhere, like in the case when I was talking about Toy Story. Do you ever get that feeling after you watch a movie that you didn't like it, but you don't know why you didn't like it? Yeah, that's me with some of Pixar's movies. With others, it's clear what I don't like about them, but with some, I have no idea. This was the most difficult rain I had to make because I was trying too hard to have a reason to not like some of Pixar's movies. I didn't just want to say, I don't like this because I don't like it, and end it with that. I felt that people needed reasons, but I guess that really wasn't the best route to go. I'll work on that in the future, folks. I apologize. Then, there's the case of people not liking my other reasons. Well, those are my honest reasons. What do you want me to do? Start hating them for trivial things? I thought most of my reasons were believable, and I believe opinions all come down to personal beliefs. An example I can think of is James and the Giant Peach, a favorite of my childhood that I still love and admire. Some people might not like the fact that this movie doesn't explain in detail certain elements. However, I could easily call that person an idiot and say that it's a fantasy movie and not everything has to be explained, but I don't. That would be wrong of me because the person doesn't share the same taste in movies as I do. Some people like for things to be explained in every movie, but it doesn't matter to me if it's a fantasy movie where I can believe certain things that don't make sense. It all comes down to a person's view on movies. The same reason that a person might like a movie might be the same reason why another person might hate a movie. And that's about it. I hope I threw a bucket of water on the fire. You can still hate my guts for the rant, 
but understand that I felt guilty for my mistakes, and I apologize if I upset you. However, know that we're all individuals who can't all have the same opinions. If we were, the world would be a pretty boring place. Is Pixar for me? Of course not. But I still appreciate them for their work, and I hope they keep going for a long time and entertaining its fans. I'm Benjamin Tannehill. Have a good day.